Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Britt from GritandGroceries.com. I'm a health coach and nutritionist, and my channel is all about helping people with IBS and digestive issues reduce their symptoms and improve their lives. Today I'm going to help you make a quick and easy low FODMAP ground beef and broccoli dish. So let's get into it. I love this dish for when I didn't plan anything for dinner because I have a couple of shortcuts, a couple of hacks, if you will, uh, that I want to show you. And I'm super excited about that because I don't really cut a lot of corners on this channel and I really want to show you guys a couple of things that you can do to save some time and effort in the kitchen. The first of those being using ground beef burger patties. Here I have the ground beef, the, the pre-made frozen ground beef burger patties from Costco. And I love using these on nights that I didn't pull out and, defro and defrost meat because they defrost so much quicker than like a block of ground beef, right? The other thing is that I like to use the frozen ground beef I get from Costco also. You know, it's like the, the five one pound tubes. And those tubes actually have like little metal clasps on them. So you can't put them in the microwave. You have to plan ahead with those. So that's why I came up with this solution. The other reason I like using these is because maybe I don't want to cook a whole pound of meat, you know, if it's just for me. So that's another cool thing. If it's just, if you don't have like a full family that you're cooking for. Okay, now I'm just gonna put these in the microwave to defrost. All right, while that is defrosting, we are going to chop up our broccoli. I'm just gonna quickly cut these off. And then these really big ones here, cut these ones up a little bit smaller. I'm not gonna be too precise, because like I said, this is meant to be a quick and easy kind of dish. The goal is just to get everything roughly the same size so it cooks evenly. And I don't think I'm going to need this other head of broccoli. I think I'm just gonna do this. Okay, next we are going to chop up some ginger. So I'm just gonna take maybe just like a thumb amount. That seems like a really weird way to measure, I know, um, but that's what I've seen in recipes when it comes to ginger. So I'm just gonna cut off the rind. Slice it up and then gather these together so I can give it a mince. You could do larger chunks of ginger in your recipe if you would like, but I think I prefer smaller pieces in this recipe because then it kind of gets like stuck in between the little like broccolis. All right, I think that's small enough for me. All right, and the last thing that we're going to do to prep is we are going to prep our broth. So this is the other shortcut that I have for you guys. Typically I would use bone broth that I had pre-made in the fridge, but since I don't have any of that, I'm going to use some of this Vital Proteins beef, gel <laughs> beef gelatin. And this is what is going to help, um, well, it's not only gonna add gelatin and um, you know give it like that gut healing property, um, which I like, but it's also going to help give our, our beef and broccoli sauce a little bit more body. So to use this, we're just going to add a scoop to half a cup of water. Um, and I know this is a bit of a specialty product, um, but like I said, it is, you can't, you don't have to use it. You can use like regular bone broth, but yeah, like I said, there aren't very many convenience products that I use. This is one of them. I really like it. I'm actually almost out of this. Um, and it's not, this is not sponsored, um, but I will leave a link down below for you. So I'm just going to add half a cup of water to this. I'm going to give it a little whisk. Just make sure it all gets dissolved in there. It will get quite thick, um, so just be aware of that, it's fine. Um, once it hits the heat, it will actually like relax and not be so like stiff. Okay, so now we have everything prepped. Let's head over to the stove and cook it up. All right, I'm going to be using a cast iron today, and I really like this one because it has a lid. Uh, we are going to need the lid today. So yeah, but you could use any lid, any metal lid that works. Just make sure it's not gonna like melt because cast iron's so hot. I'm gonna turn this heat on medium high and let that heat up. We want it to be, we need to preheat this. Um, that's what's gonna give us the best sear on these patties and on the broccoli. Uh, but we don't want it to be smoking hot, but we do want it to be hot. So while that's heating up, I'm just going to add some salt to our burger patties. I typically use one teaspoon of salt per pound of meat. These are one third a pound each. 
Um, so I'm just gonna honestly just like dust a little bit over top. I'm not really measuring, um, but you can see that I would be going for two thirds of a teaspoon um, with this amount. You can also see that this pan is very well seasoned, like it's already shiny, so it doesn't really need um, like a whole lot of fat in this pan for it to for it to cook well. That's an important thing you want to keep um, be mindful of when you're using cast iron. All right, so I think this is hot enough. Let's add our patties. Okay, now I'm just going to salt the other side really quick. Next, I'm gonna throw a little bit of garlic oil in the sides of the pan, not really on the beef. And then I'm gonna add our broccoli. Hit these with a little salt. Then we're gonna put the lid on. So while our beef patties are searing and releasing their fat and their juice, it's, we're also gonna be cooking and steaming our broccoli with the lid on. I'm just gonna let that go for about five minutes. All right, so this has been going for about five minutes. Ooh. You see how our, our broccoli is kind of cooked? Um, now I'm just going to break up our beef patty. Oh, actually, darn it. I meant to flip it over and then break it up. Well. It'll still be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a little toss to kind of get the broccoli coated in this beef juice. And I'm gonna add our ginger. I didn't add the ginger at the beginning of the cooking process because it's a little bit more delicate and I didn't want it to burn. Get that mixed in together. I wanna add one more tablespoon of garlic oil, mostly on the broccoli. And we're gonna add one teaspoon of soy sauce, gluten-free soy sauce. That's what makes it look on them. Well, one of the things. Okay, so now that this is all kind of like mixed together, we are going to add the, the broth. And we're gonna put our lid back on until our broccoli is fully steamed through. Okay, so this has been simmering on medium heat, covered for two minutes. I'm gonna take off the lid and it looks like our broccoli is mostly cooked through. So now I'm gonna let this just kind of cook for just another minute or so uncovered to let some of the water evaporate and let this sauce thicken. And then it's gonna be ready to taste. <laughs> okay, so this has thickened up enough for my liking. I know that once I turn off the heat and this starts to cool down, it's gonna thicken up because of that gelatin, the collagen gelatin. Mm, delicious. It's got some gingery in there. It's got like the soy sauce flavor. Um, so let's go ahead and turn off the heat and we are going to finish it off with some green onion and cilantro. Okay, and that's it. Now I just have some rice here that has been cooked and I'm just gonna serve it up. So let's do that. Get some of this juice for the rice. All right, let's go give it a taste. All right, here we go. This looks so good, I'm so hungry. All right, and my last little finishing touch is I'm going to add some of this hot chili oil. Um, you wanna be careful with this chili oil. My body can handle it, but if I have too much of it, then it'll cause symptoms. So moderation is key. I also try not to get too many of the red pepper flakes when I put it on there. I try to get mostly oil. Mmm. So good. I honestly don't even remember the last time I had like real beef and broccoli in a restaurant, but this tastes really good to me. <laughs> so it's got like that Asian-y stir fry vibe. 
It's got a little heat from the crushed red pepper or the, the chili oil. It's got, um, it's got a bunch of like savoriness from the, from the ground beef and the soy sauce. It's got like some of that umami in there. And then it's got nice like flavor from the ginger. And what I love about this method too is that the broccoli gets like a little bit um, like seared on one side and then it still gets like steamed and cooked on the other side. So like we have some charred parts here on the broccoli, but then we also still, like you can see it's still like bright green. It's still like got a lot of firmness to it, a lot of nice texture because that's the thing that people mess up all the time when they cook vegetables is that they overcook them and make them mushy and then they're not very good. Mm. The other great thing that would go on this would be avocado. Um, just be careful. Um, depending on where you're at in your low FODMAP journey, um, it might you might be like stacking too many FODMAPs together. Um, but I think if you are doing pretty well, you could probably add like a tablespoon of avocado to this and be totally fine. So I really like the sauce with this dish to be like a little bit more liquidy, like what I showed you. If you want it to be it to be like super thick, like true like Chinese takeout beef and broccoli, you could add a little bit of like, probably about a teaspoon of cornstarch to your um, to your gelatin water mixture, and that would like really like thicken it up. Um, but I feel like when I don't put cornstarch in my sausage, it in my sauce, it just feels a little bit lighter, a little bit more healthy, I guess. And um, I really wanted to keep it light because it is hot today. See, this is also why I like to cook my patties flat before I break them up because you get this nice sear, just like when you have like a char grilled burger. You want some, baby? Sometimes if I have them in the fridge, I think bean sprouts are another great addition to this to this dish. Um, also sliced radishes could be really good too. Just raw in there, add a little bit more texture, a little more bite, and they are completely FODMAP free. All right guys, there you have it. Low FODMAP, gluten-free, ground beef and broccoli. Super quick, super easy, probably less than 30 minutes. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you found it helpful. If you wanna make this recipe, please subscribe to this channel for more low FODMAP recipe tutorials. And I will have some more gut health content for you guys coming soon. Some um, more informational, educational content that I'm working on behind the scenes for you guys. Um, go check out the Patreon if you wanna support the channel. And um, please share this video because it really helps boost me in the algorithm and it helps me to um, share my message with more people. So I really appreciate that. All right. Thank you guys so much. See you guys next time.